Hey everyone, in today's DMZ video, I wanted to do a quick guide on how to kill the Rhino and the Sniper within 60 seconds of each other for the hunting party mission. So this one might seem hard at first, but we're gonna have a real easy way to do this. And the number one thing that you need to do this is bomb drones. So both the Rhino and the Sniper will die to a bomb drone instantly if done correctly. So the first thing you wanna do is queue up into Almazra, grab a helicopter and start flying around to every buy station until you find the one that has the bomb drone in it. And then you're gonna go ahead and buy two or three if you can afford them. You can bring in money from your wallet if you have some laying around. And then we're gonna go directly to the Kosha Complex entrance. I personally am partial to the Tarek Village one by the bridge. There's only like seven AI that you have to kill and it's really, really fast to get to the center. And we do want to get to the center quickly because we want to be able to want make sure that we're getting to the factory key as fast as possible, just in case there's another squad there so that we can gain access to the boss area. So once we've gotten into the Tarak entrance, you're going to find night vision first and foremost. So look everywhere until you find it. There's always a night vision laying around loose loot for you to loot. So make sure you're grabbing that before you leave this area because without night vision going into the center is going to be a pain in the butt. And I usually always find the night vision on the left or the right hand side of the first water hallway, but sometimes it can be in the second water hallway as well. Now, one other important note is to grab one of the shotguns off the ground. There's a Bryson shotgun. There's also an Expedite 12. These shotguns are one tapping the tier three in this map. They don't normally do that, but in this map, the shotguns are absolutely buffed and I highly recommend having one of those as your secondary to help you deal with any of the AI that you might encounter in the middle or as we work our way towards the boss. Now that we've got our night vision and we've worked our way past the green lasers, we killed all the seven AI that are there. We're gonna open the door and we're gonna head into the main area and we're going to quickly go for the factory key. Now the factory key is going to be in one of these five spots. There are small ventilations that you have to crouch into and you will find a factory key in one of those five spots guaranteed. And once you have that factory key, we are going to head north and that is the direction of the boss. I personally like to use the factory key on the left door. I find it easier to enter and to exit since you don't have to deal with the AI in the main room, unless you're trying to hit the buying station that is in this next room and that's okay. You can clear everyone out. It's not that big a deal, but I'm usually going for speed just so that I don't have to have enemy players shooting me in the back or cut pushing up on me. So the faster we can get through this, the better. So I go through the doors. I'm going to break left here and completely bypass everything to the right. We're going to go in through these blue doors. We're going to go down the stairs. And if you see this turquoise door down there on the left, uh, straight ahead there, uh, that turquoise door is where we're going to go through. If you're unfamiliar with it, there is a key that we're about to grab. It's in the same spot every single time. And we grab this key and then we can go into that door. It's basically like a back entrance to the Rhino boss. Okay, so we're going to mantle up, kill a couple AI, and inside this next little drop down is where the key is going to be. So we roll up into here. There's the key. You can see it behind the duffel bag. We're going to grab that, the alternative exit key. And we're just going to double back the way we came and go open that turquoise door. Okay, so now we're going back to the turquoise door, the alternative exit. We're going to go up this ladder and we're going to go to the right and go straight towards the rhino. Now, when we go down to this area, there's no AI of any kind. There are no ads, no nothing, no tier three. It's just the rhino and he's going to be further back. And we're going to go to an area that's close to him, but we're not going to aggro him. We're just going to kind of walk past him or past all these little boxes here and go towards this wall. Now, if you see the windows right above where I'm aiming right here, the sniper is up there and we're gonna kill the sniper first. And I like to kill the sniper first because sometimes he likes to snipe the bomb drone if you don't take him out first. And he likes to move around uh, up there sometimes. So I like to go in here, go to this wall, use the first bomb drone and make sure you go right up on top of him, pop him. Next, we go right to the next bomb drone. And another reason why we like the sniper first is because if you blow up the Rhino first, then the tier three guys are gonna spawn on top of you while you're trying to bomb drone the sniper. So we like to do the sniper first and then Rhino second. Now, very, very important, make sure that the bomb drone is facing directly in front of the Rhino. If you catch them on the side or even from behind, the riot shield will, will absorb some of the damage and may not kill him. I had it not kill him once, so keep that in mind. Make sure that you're hitting him with a full frontal with the bomb drone and now you're done. You don't even have to evac. You can see the mission completion right there and then. And boom, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, make sure to drop a sub for more DMZ content and I'll catch you in the next one.